Good afternoon, my fellow patriots. Welcome to another segment of walking on the Ryerson Station State Park Warpath. And when I'm finished with today's great 10 mile patriotic march, I'm going to be at 8,394 miles in five and a half years. Marching for freedom. Freedom! <laughs> As I did the William Wallace down in uh, Washington, D.C. I, I did when I was fighting that whole week uh, for freedom. Uh, walking. I walked 84 miles, as you guys know. A lot of you know uh, from my blog, The Lost Patriot and the Battle on Capitol Hill. Uh, I walked 84 miles in a week. That's the longest I've ever marched in a, in a week. But uh, I, uh, I yelled the William Wallace yell very many times. And I finally got it on film. Uh, look back through my videos and check it out. It's the, it's the, it's the video that says William Wallace uh, returns to fight against Obamacare. <laughs> but anyways, this is a great, great message I have to bring to you guys. I'm so excited. As a lot of you guys know from, uh, if you're like a veteran of my videos, I did a story about David Wilcock interviewing uh, uh, Benjamin Fulford about how there are patriots. It was like we first got word of patriots in high places uh, fighting for our freedoms that we don't know about because it's not mainstream media and as you know mainstream media has been captured by the new world order and so we don't get news the real news but it gave us hope that that, that message broke out through uh, a guy named David Wilcock and Benjamin Fulford well after working all weekend and by the way I was gonna walk on route 119 today but as always I'm, I always joke around when I DJ. I should change my name from the TNT Music Explosion to Terry Cash, because I work all the time. And uh, I uh, got called to work earlier so today for a little while, so my plan's to walk on Route 119. I'm not complaining, because like I said, I'm Terry Cash. I work many many jobs I'm a very blessed man and I usually don't talk about it very much but uh, as you know my favorite job is this job Br bringing you the the, 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 the uh, patriotic trail from the road and always, always a great patriotic one-two punch when you find my videos uh, the second part is on my website and this time it's not Alex Jones it's David Wilcock uh, and the name of the video is stealth Patriots in high places are moving forward and engaged to save freedom and it's like I said I'm every time I I get news like this it's just like it makes everything go away man uh, I know uh, us info warriors have been you know fighting for the truth for a very long time there's people who have been fighting for the truth longer than me and uh, this guy named Drake he's a world as always a great veteran I told you guys anytime people stop to see me along the highway it's usually a veteran or a soldier and like I always say you know, there are greatest Patriots and I'll never I, I wouldn't I can never even though I'm such an extreme patriot I can never say I was a veteran or I was never a soldier but I am a, a patriot so <laughs> but I'm not as I mean there are greater there every country's greatest patriots because like I always tell veterans you guys are like our guardian angels because you even get out of the service but you're always watching out for us well anyways this guy named Drake uh, you gotta listen to this interview and check it out on my website it's excellent news man and uh, 
like I said, uh, it makes uh, things a lot easier knowing that there are patriots, stealth patriots, in high places moving forward and engaged to save freedom. Go check it out on my website. See you guys in the next blog. Uh, see you in the next video. Pass my videos to your friends. This is excellent news. Let's make this let's make this news go viral because we have to be prepared when the shit hits the fan. And like this guy Drake says, the shit is going to hit the fan. But you always have to remember uh, Minutemen of the United States, Minutemen of the world, uh, our soldiers are our greatest patriots and they do not want to fire on us. So always keep that in mind when the shit does hit the fan and you see a military convoy coming down the road, don't start shooting at them. You have to just hang low and don't fire until, like I said, you hear you're going to a FEMA camp, that's when you open up fire because you're not going to a FEMA camp and the soldiers aren't going to put you in a FEMA camp. They're going to put these assholes in the FEMA camp. Woo! <laughs> See you guys in the next video. I'm, I'm so pumped up. Woo! This is a great day in the USA. Have a good one.